So this is the Touch Aqua BPTA and OTOS 120. It is a DRGB, uh, otherwise known as ARGB. Let's see if I can focus. Five pack. Um, this is currently the settings I have it to. I couldn't get the controller to work, so I needed the the software to to change the color schemes and to turn off the RGBs. Uh, to turn them off when the power is off, because they do stay on once you turn off the computer, or you could just disable that. On BIOS. This is the software for the for the RGBs. It depends on your um, your motherboard, or if you have like Razer Synapse, it also works on there too. Or let's see, look at the box. Let's see. Any of these? It'll work with any of those. But on here, it's the only thing that I know that will change the, the pattern and the color on the, on the fence, not the controller. See, I'm, I'm changing a lot of it with, the, with what it has here. Wave. I haven't checked that one out. If you are epileptic, <laughs> cycle. I like blue. Static. I think that's just it's staying on as is as you can see I could change the color that's off right there if I just want a green I could change it to green but let's keep it a blue I like that but I want to follow the same layout as my Razer keyboard and mouse. Unfortunately, you cannot have it mimic the same patterns as other software. For example, on Razer, if I touch a key, it sends a pulse like that to a color of my preference. It won't do that to your RGB fans. But other than that, you could pretty much just control. That's pretty much all to it. Um, here is Razer. 
you go to Chroma Studio. Uh, you see right here, it's for the mouse. That's for the keyboard. That's for the headset. And that's for the software. To sync the software for the RGB fans on the PC. But then again, like I said, it depends on the, the motherboard or software that you want to choose as your primary um, control. 